I am blonde today. Like I am so blonde. I mean, no, not blonde. I'm silver, ashy, something, something blonde today. New hair color again, guys. <laughs> I hope you guys love this hair because I love, love, love it. And this is how I darken my roots. And the key to darkening your roots is... So this is what I like to call a shadow-like technique. I don't like the roots to be too dark. But if you want to go for something darker, you should go for brown instead of light ash brown. What I'm basically going to show you next so please make sure you stay tuned and if you have any questions comment down below let me know When my baby calls, I go shop, shop, shop. She told me that she like my milli rock, rock, rock. She likes to put on shades and a cap, cap, cap. Oh, my baby know that she fly, fly, fly. And she knows she hot, I don't fire, yeah, yeah. I said, man, you in the da, da, da. Sorry, the other. Getting started, as you can see, I started dividing the hair into different sections and I started applying the dye. And I was doing this really, really gently. And you can see I have gloves on on my right hand side, but my left hand side I didn't put the gloves on because I wanted to get a hold of the hair properly. I don't know, it probably didn't really, you know, make any sense, but to me it was okay. I needed to do that to, and you just have to be very, very careful when applying the dye onto the lace. And you need to take your time. It's going to take you about 15 to 20 minutes applying this all around. But just, you know, focus, be consistent with it and just keep going. Try not to get too close to the lace because the lace will, you start seeing a lot of stains on the lace. It's okay to get a little bit of stain because, you know, nobody's perfect, but um, try your best not to. And another day I tried another technique as well. And I used the toothbrush because the first lace, I could see that the roots weren't as dark as I wanted them to, as I wanted it to. So using the brush, it actually made me get really, really close to the lace without it, um, bleaching the hair or i mean without it dyeing the lace or staining the lace and as you can see when i finished i went back to the tracks the very top of my sewing i darkened it just in case you know i needed to make a parting and i just wanted it to be natural and have a very natural transition So here we are, you can see how well done this is. Uh, this is not my first attempt, this is like my fourth or fifth attempt doing this. So obviously the more you do it, the better you get. The first time I did it, it was horrible, but now I'm getting better at so, it. So this is my first time using this and I just thought, let me try the natural light ash brown just so that it would be a bit soft, like it wouldn't be too dark quickly. So then when I brought out the, when I brought out the mixture, I had this, this, and then this. So what I had to do is I had to mix this and this together, but Camilla didn't look at, you know, the instructions, and I just thought I was a pro. So usually when I get box dyes, it's usually something that comes in something like this, and then a liquid. So when I saw two, I was like, this is definitely the developer, fine. So this has to be the mixture. Not knowing that this mixture is to, with this. So basically i added this and the conditioner into this and then i mixed it together then i achieved this so clearly it's still okay like it still works out really fine but um i actually prefer it this way because then i feel like it doesn't get dark too quickly it's not so so dark but um, i'm gonna show you the final look when, when it's wet it's usually darker but um, I'm going to show you guys the final look when it's all done. But you can still obviously mix your conditioner, your developer and your mixture into it. And you still get the color. But um, yeah, that was my mistake. But the mistake turned out okay. So guys, trust me to forget that I needed to film this. 
so I left my camera but I'm gonna use my phone so what I did was I added warm well hot water but I leave it to cool off a little bit and then I add the thing is I use those coffee powders I don't use the tint and stuff because in Ireland we don't have it so I'm gonna have to order it and then it takes like two weeks and anybody got time for that I want to wear this in two days so it's not possible so what I'm doing is I'm just mixing it mixing it mixing it because I don't want the little like this little things to you know get stuck onto the lace but when you do this guys just remember after you finish doing this you have to condition the hair because if you don't your hair is gonna be smelling off coffee okay so you can use a um, Starbucks dark coffee or I'm using let me show you. I'm using espresso. You know the espresso powder? I'm using that. So, guys, I don't want to show you guys because, you know, you can just get any dark coffee and dissolve it in there. Deep this. And bear in mind, I'm deeping just the lace area. No, not the bundles anymore. Just the lace. And I'm just dipping just the lace area. And I'm going to soak it in. Literally soak it in for a few couple of minutes it's going to get into the hair as well so don't be too um worried but um it's just better for you to get all the lace inside because you know you're going to wash this after so it's not it's not a huge problem but be careful because you don't want the hair to get dark as well because it's blonde hair so you leave it in for a few minutes let me try and soak all this area in Okay, I shouldn't really be doing this. So you're soaking the lace. So we're leaving it to soak and then I'm gonna go and wash it off and deep condition it. So basically guys, you leave this in for a few minutes. Well, for like f five minutes, but be taking it out because you really want this to be dark because you know, the lace is quite right like it's very light so you keep lifting it up but leave it in for like three to five minutes and go and wash it off with your deep conditioner leave it in your deep conditioner for like 15 to 20 minutes wash it off and you're good to go So you can see the dark area compared to the bright area. I didn't wet this area and I didn't tint this area. So you guys can see the difference. So this was what it would have looked like before me tinting it. And this is what it looks like now. So yeah, guys, and just bear in mind, I just literally washed it off and I tried to take all that little coffee strands off it. But this is what I achieve. So I can't wait to style it and show you guys what it looks like. And overall, the process was, you know, obviously a learning process. So what I did was I did apply this cap because the last time I tried a wig on, my natural hair was literally showing through the lace and you couldn't see like a defined, you know, line and I didn't want that. So when I put this on, I obviously applied the got to be, then I applied my powder just to make it a bit more obvious. And I didn't really darken it too much because I wanted this to actually show through so that the line can be a bit more obvious. If you guys can see from here, I'm not sure, but then it did work. So I didn't want to film it because obviously it was my first time trying the cap. And to be honest, I would actually recommend the cap, but I only probably recommend the cap for blonde hair like i wouldn't recommend it for dark hair because um for color one bu or black hair because the lace is already dark enough you don't really need this i don't know that's just me but i'll only use this for blonde hair and what i did after i did um put the powder on it and then I, obviously i put Col I put my color powder on it and I'm using the bare mineral one and I use it to literally apply it all over the cap I didn't use too much because I still wanted the cap to be a bit I still wanted the cap color to be a bit more obvious and um, in the middle line I wanted it I wanted it to be you know 
very obvious and more consistent because the last time I could see black patches because obviously my hair is underneath and my hair is really short so then afterwards I got my curler to be honest guys if you can ask me where I got this curler from I actually do not know so I'm gonna find something similar but it's quite big it's really nice I like the finish it gives I really really love this hair I love the color use my powder again and obviously you're gonna see that the color is quite different so then you start to use your powder color and you just darken around this area so that it matches so that it matches your um it matches your color the lace matches your color because regardless of how it is the blonde lace is very very light so you know even if you darken it it's still going to be a bit lighter than your skin tone so I think you definitely have to use your foundation to cover up the lace but apart from that I absolutely love this hair I love the movement obviously it's free bornovo hair extensions and I made the wig as well you can send me an email or follow my Instagram page and there's a direct whatsapp number that you could always contact if you have any questions I'm more than happy to answer the questions so far so good I absolutely love the hair and instead of you so basically the video I had for the bare minerals foundation I'm going to put it here the video I had, you can basically use this routine for it and I use the Wella Toner T18, the Ash Blonde and I left it in for just 40 minutes. All the details is down in the description box so if you have any questions it's all down there and comment down below if you have any, you know, if you have any questions and don't forget to thumbs up, like this video guys like this video share with your friends and you could try it out yourself as well and if you do try it out you can follow me on instagram and tag me that you tried it out and i'd love to see it or repost it and yeah guys thank you so much for watching thank you so much for sticking with me and i'll see you guys in my next video bye